Are you looking to get started with calisthenics, but you're not sure which approach is the best? Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you a beginner-friendly calisthenics workout that's gonna require almost no equipment. The only thing you're gonna need is a pull-up bar, a dip bar, and your own body weight. We're gonna do a full body workout that's gonna target some of the most important exercise of calisthenics. And if it's your first time on the channel, my name is Xavier Cormier. I'm two-time freestyle calisthenics champion of Canada. And on this channel, I'm gonna share with you guys the best tip I've learned in the past eight years practicing calisthenics. So this workout is for everyone. Even if you're able to do a few pull-up, it's gonna be challenging enough. And if you're not there yet, don't worry, I'm gonna show you the progression and the basics exercise you can work on so you can eventually get your first pull-up, push-up, dips, and more. Let's not waste any more time. Let's jump right into the workout. Let's get it. All right, the first exercise is gonna be the pull-up. You wanna do this exercise for around six to 10 reps. You wanna grab the bar at shoulder width in a pronated grip. If this exercise is too hard, you can go for some rows on the parallel bar. Make sure to start with your feet under your knees if the rows is too challenging to hit six to 10 reps clean. And when you're gonna get used to this exercise, extend your leg to increase the intensity. For the second exercise, we're gonna work on some alternated front lunge. We're gonna go for eight reps on each leg for a total of 16 reps. When this exercise becomes too easy, you can increase the intensity by adding explosion or simply by adding some weights by using a barbell or a weight vest. For the third exercise of our full body workout, we're gonna work on the push-up for 10 to 15 reps. There is many ways to do your push-up, so let's just focus on the one you should not do. Try to avoid doing the T-shaped position by bringing your elbows out and also make sure to keep your neck as straight as possible to avoid neck pain by doing this exercise. If the full push-up is too hard, you can as well go on your knees to decrease the intensity. For the last exercise of our first circuit, we're gonna go for some leg raise for 10 reps and for this exercise, we wanna keep our toes pointed, knees locked, elbows locked, and also shoulders protracted so you can have a better stability when doing this exercise. If it's too hard for you to keep a clean form, you can just go for some alternated one leg raise or even some tuck raise. Now let's jump into the second circuit. For this part of the workout, we're gonna work more on isometric movement and that's gonna increase our time under tension so that we can get used to the exercise we're just learning and also helps build muscle. The first exercise is gonna be rose hold for a total of 20 seconds. If you can do it unbroken, don't worry, just drop down and whenever you're feeling ready, come back up and maintain the rest of the hold. For the second exercise, we're gonna work on some wall chair hold for 30 to 60 seconds. If this exercise is too easy on both legs, you can try to go for alternated one leg every five or 10 seconds as you're feeling the tension building up. For the third exercise of this second set, we're gonna work on our pike push-up. Since this exercise is quite hard if you're just getting started with calisthenics, we're gonna work on the negative only and we're gonna go for four to six reps all the way down to the floor. For the last exercise, we're gonna target our core. We're gonna go for 30 seconds of L-sit hold. And depending on your level, there's three progression you can do. The first one is the full L-sit with both legs. The second one is a one leg L-sit. And you can even alternate from one side to the other. All right, guys, so that's our wraps for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it and make sure to leave a like and let me know in the comment if you would like to have a more advanced workout in the next episode. I already have a crazy zero reps workout for more advanced calisthenics athletes. So make sure that if you're looking for a good challenge, well, stay tuned. It's going to be released next week on my channel. Make sure to check it out. Thank you once again for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.